welcome to our youtube channel click the class i am here today to discuss about dengue dengue fever is caused by arbovirus from the genus flavivirus that is responsible for dengue fever dengue fever or dengue is a mosquito borne infection when a mosquito bites a person infected with a dengue virus the virus enters the mosquito when the infected mosquito then bites another person, the virus enters that person's bloodstream. Dengue fever occurs in tropical and subtropical areas of the world. Mild dengue fever causes a high fever, rash and muscle and joint pain. A severe form of dengue fever, also called dengue hemorrhagic fever, can cause severe bleeding a sudden drop in blood pressure and death. Investigations for diagnosis of dengue. Blood test may show leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. Serological tests for determining dengue infection include detection of anti-dengue immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin G antibody by enzyme-linked immune servant assay ELISA. Erythrocytic sedimentation rate blood for culture and sensitivity immunochromatographic test liver function test serum electrolyte level chest x-ray posterior and anterior view complement fixation test Prevention of Dengue Mosquito control The vectors of dengue fever and dengue hemorrhagic fever breed in and around the house. Antilarval measures The environment should be cleaned up and got rid of water holding containers such as discarded tins, empty pots, broken bottles and similar other artificial collection of water. Chemical larvicides, termophones, can be freely used in water collection. Anti-adult measures, residual spray is effective. Protection against mosquito bite by using of mosquito net and use of mosquito repellents. Increase public awareness. Wear full clothes at dusk and dawn. risk factors of dengue factors that put you at greater risk of developing dengue fever or a more severe form of the disease include living or traveling in tropical areas being in tropical and subtropical areas increases the risk of exposure to the virus that causes dengue fever especially high risk areas are southeast asia and western pacific island Latin America and Caribbean areas are common. In Bangladesh, Maimanshing, Chittagong, Bandarwan, etc. are the common zonal area. Prior infection with the dengue fever virus Previous infection with the dengue fever virus increases risk of having severe symptoms if anyone infected again. Complication of dengue fever, fluid and electrolyte losses, myocarditis, febrile convulsion, 
thrombocytopenia, epistaxis, dengue shock syndrome, purpura, gastrointestinal tract bleeding, can damage the lungs, liver, blood pressure can drop to dangerous level, causing shock and in some cases death. If you are living or traveling in an area where dengue fever is known to be, the best way to avoid dengue fever is to avoid being bitten by mosquitoes that carry that disease. Some tips to reduce dengue infection. If you are living or traveling in tropical areas where dengue fever is common, these tips may help reduce your risk of mosquito bites. Stay in air conditioned or well screened housing. The mosquito that carry the dengue viruses are most active from down to dusk, but they can also bite at night. Wear protective clothing when you go into mosquito infected area. We are a long sleeved shirt, long paint, shocks, and shoes. Use mosquito repellent. Permethrin can be applied to your clothing, shoes, camping, gear, and bed netting. You can also buy clothing made with permethrin already in it. For your skin, use a repellent containing at least a 10% concentration of DIT. Reduce mosquito habitat. The mosquitoes that carry the dengue virus typically live in and around houses, breeding in standard water, standing water that can collect in such things as used automobile tires. You can help lower mosquito population by eliminating habitats where they lay their eggs. At least once a week, empty and clean containers that hold standing water, such as planting containers, animal dishes, and flower vases. Keep standing water containers covered between cleanings. General management of dengue infected patient No specific treatment for dengue fever exists. As a care provider, we may recommend the patient drink plenty of fluid to avoid dehydration from vomiting and a high fever, immediate hospitalization, complete bed rest, assessment of vital sign as like pulse, blood pressure, temperature, and respiration. Open an intravenous channel and maintain fluid and electrolyte balance. To reduce fever and pain, tablet paracetamol should be given. Blood transfusion if necessary. Patient are nursed under a mosquito net. While recovering from the dengue fever, watch for signs and symptoms of dehydration. Consult with your doctor right away if you develop any of the following decreased urination, few or no tears, dry mouth or lip, lethargy or confusion called or clammy extremities, acetaminophen the drug which can alleviate pain and reduce fever, avoid pain relievers that can increase bleeding complication such as aspirin, ibuprofen and naproxen sodium.